Rick Grimes is back to save the franchise. And it's about time because man the show suffered without him. The last two seasons of The Walking Dead were big old stinkers without Rick Grimes. And as for the spin-offs, well you know how I feel about those. And my enthusiasm for the franchise has been dying as I've moved on to watching good shows like season 1 of Lost. Speaking of which, Terry O'Quinn is in this. Any show that features John Locke is automatically a good show. You asked me how we won, how we survived. How did you survive? So, we have two episodes so far for The Ones Who Live. And there will be spoilers in this review, but do you really care? Episode 1, Years. We see Rick serving in the CRM, a massive military operation that formed when the original military fell to the outbreak. We remember seeing Rick being picked up by one of their helicopters in the final episode of the main show. Since then, he's been forced into working for them, and he's tried many times to escape to get back to Judith and Michonne. And we see the effect this has on his mentality, feeling that there's no escape in this. There's a scene where he considers self-deletion, and he's not pouring with emotion, with tears and snot rolling down his chin. He just seems dead inside. The side characters aren't too bad, apart from one. There's this South African soldier with a fairly interesting backstory, but something tells me she won't be sticking around in the story. She tries to convince Rick that staying here in the CRM is the only way he's going to remain alive, and ultimately this is how he will find his way back to Michonne. The Army Lieutenant Donald is a weird character. I don't know if it's the actor or the character, but there's something about his line delivery that just feels really flat and unnatural. What we're going to talk about, that would be neither safe nor appropriate. You both have been training for a year. You're both soldiers now, but you don't actually think all of this was about you two and just becoming soldiers. He's not the worst, but yeah, I'm not feeling it. He dies at the end anyway, so it's a one and done character. Speaking of the end, we do of course have the not so surprising reunion of Rick and Michonne. It's what we all came here for and it's right at the end, so we had to wait a week longer. And based on this first episode, I was willing to wait. It's a 7 out of 10 episode, which I've emotionally bumped up in score due to the dire state of this franchise. The Ones Who Live could be a return to form. Let's see with episode 2, Gone. Do we pick up where we left off and see them reunite? Nah, we're going to go back and see Michonne's journey. <laughs> Gotta say, at first I felt properly blue-balled by this, but actually this skip backwards made for a good episode. On her travel, she saved someone's life, and her group are super thankful for this, offering Michonne one of their horses to carry on her journey. And this part had me worried that we might be returning to the boring, low-energy Walking Dead that dragged down the later seasons. But then, bam! A helicopter drops chlorine gas bombs. Michonne and her new little person friend bond as they spend quite a few months in recovery. This sequence was awesome. It felt like classic Walking Dead. The gas burnt out our lungs. It's gonna take a while to get better. <laughs> if we do get better. At around the 37 minute mark, we finally get the reunion we've been waiting for. I found you! Oh, oh. Thankfully, they didn't push this reunion to the last minute of the episode, so we actually get some time to see them interact. I can't say I'd be happy to wait another week for this shit to start rolling. <laughs> it's already been X amount of years. I do find it funny how Rick asks about Judith, but Michonne doesn't think to mention that he also has a son. Remember RJ? Yeah, I barely did. She surely has to bring this up in the next episode. Rick explains that she has to come with him to the CRM, because if they both try to escape, they will be killed. And furthermore, they have to pretend that they don't know each other. But the problem is, one of the CRM people knows who Rick and Michonne are. It's Jadis. Oh, yay, she's still here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about that. You've heard a lot of language from me. Yes, yes, yes. I liked this episode a little more than the first one, surprisingly, as I was sure it was just going to be a show that I enjoyed purely for the hype of seeing Rick back in action. But it seems there is some quality to this spin-off. I give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. 
I didn't think I'd be talking about The Walking Dead again so soon after being done with the main show. But here I am watching a spin-off and enjoying it. And for those of you who subscribe to me for Walking Dead content, I'm sure you're happy to see that I'm still interested in this franchise. And who knows what the future holds? So, while I wait for more episodes and you wait for more reviews and recaps, why not check out my initial thoughts on the other spin-offs? There's six spin-off shows, if you can believe that. <laughs>